Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to Centurion's Review. Today we're going to be doing a playthrough of the first basic scenario in Ogre the Packet Edition. Here's the forces. There's a Mark III Ogre, which is, that's the whole one side. It's got four secondary batteries, two missiles, anti, eight anti-personnel weapons, and 45 tread units along with one main gun battery. He's starting up here on this edge of the board. And then as far as the opposing force, they have one, two, three, four, five. They have six heavy tanks. They have two ground effect vehicles. What's significant about those is those get to move twice per turn, any, any type of hovercraft. And then I have 20 points of infantry. And down here I have two howitzers, which have a long range at a command post. The ogre needs to move from this part of uh, the battlefield down to and take out the command post either by ramming it or shooting it and then exit the map. As far as sequence of play, uh, for each player's turn they have movement then they have fire and then if they have GVs the GVs do a second movement and then recovery. Recovery is just if you have a uh, if the enemy has a disabled unit uh, they can recover it uh, at the end of your phase if it was dis disabled before your phase. Alright, so the ogre will move first. Right now, since he's got all his uh, treads, he has a movement of three. So, one, two, three. And let's see if he's got any weapons in range. His main gun battery is in range, and two of his missiles are in range. So, we'll do the main gun battery. He's going to fire on that one there. So, let me put on my reading glasses here so I can read the stats. Alright, so main gun battery has a attack strength of 4. And the heavy tank there has a defensive strength of 3, so that's a 1 to 1. And here's the odds table here. So on a 1 to 1 he rolls a 5, which is an X, so he destroyed that vehicle. And then he's going to fire one missile at this tank. And the missile has an attack strength of six. And he's got a defense of three, so that's a two to one. And he rolls a three. Three on the two to one table, he disables this tank. So then we mark off on here that he's uh, used the missile. He only has two for the whole game, so he's using one there. And then the second one, he's just going to fire on that one there. Gets a three, so he disables that one too. So that's kind of a waste of the missiles because that's his longest range weapons, but whatever. His main gun, his secondary battery, and his anti personnel uh, weapons are all out of range. Alright, so then the opposing force goes now. So he's got a movement of three, one, two, three, and a range of two when attacking. So this one's going to go one, two, three. Three. And down here the GV will move to one, two. These little lines here are ridges. Ridges only ogres and infantry can cross. Uh, these completely dark things, those are craters. Nothing can cross those, but you can shoot over them. Alright, this heavy tank will move three. Infantry will move two. And this GV will move two, and then that infantry will move two, and that will move two. As far as the howitzers down here, those are uh, immobile. They don't move. Neither does the command post. And there are some scenarios where you have a mobile command post that can move, I believe it's one hex per turn if it wishes. All right, so they've all moved, so the only one who can fire is this heavy tank here. He's going to fire at the main gun on the ogre. So main gun on the ogre has a defense of three, or excuse me, a defense of four, so that's a one to one because he's got an attack strength of four. One to one at four, I don't think that did anything. No, it's a D result, uh, ogres ignore D results. All right, so what's left on the turn is the GVs can do their second movement, so 
it'll go one, two, and where's that other one? Over here, one, two. And now the ogre will go. So he's going to go one, two, and his movement stops there, and he's going to ram that tank there. All right, so he rolls a die, and on a one through three, it's a disabled, and a four through six, it's destroyed. So he gets a six, so he destroys this tank. And then he can continue his uh, movement of one. All right, so now... He's got a main gun battery that he can fire. So he'll fire his main gun at that guy. His main gun is a four, and that's got a defense of three, so one to one. It's a one, no effect. He's got four secondary batteries. He's going to use them all together. Or actually. He screwed up there. He should have fired the main gun at that one because now his secondaries are out of range there. So that was a mistake on my part. All right, so it's the armor unit's turn now. So at the end of his turn, actually, these two undisrupted. All right, so that one's going to move one, two, three to there. There's no facing on the counters here, so you don't have to worry about that. That will go there. And GV, one, two. This GV will move two. And this will move one, two, three. And each of the infantry moves two. One, two, one, two. All right, so now shooting time. His, they're going to fire at his main battery, which is a defense of four, so they're firing, tw uh, all three are going to fire at it, so it's 12 to four, so it's a three to one. One thing I wish they did on this book is I wish they put, would have put the CRT on the back page, because then you got to keep flipping through it to get to the CRT. So it's a three to one, and he rolls a four, so he takes out the ogre's, or they take out the ogre's main gun. All right, and the only thing left they can do on the turn is move these GVs. That goes one, two, and that goes one, two. And now it's an ogre. Let's see what he wants to do here. He's going to go one, two to here. Let me go to that page on ramming. One to three, he'll disable. Four through six, he'll destroy it. So he disables this here, but he's got one, one movement left, so he's going to move to this space here. Alright, so let's see what he's going to do with his weapons now. His main battery's gone, his missiles are gone. So he's got four secondary batteries, and those have a strength of three, and the GV. So he can use three of the secondary batteries on it, and that would be nine to two, which is four to one and it'll hit on anything but a one. His other secondary battery is going to fire on this one here. So he destroys the GEV. All right, and this will be three to three so that'll be one to one. One to one at four is a D result. So he's already uh, disabled so he's destroyed then. Now the armor units will go one, two, three. Right, actually, yeah, we'll go there. He will go there. He can fire over the crater there. And then this GV here will move. And infantry, infantry, infantry. Infantry, infantry, and infantry, and one last infantry. So they're going to fire on the ogre, but they don't want the ogre to get to the command post, so they're going to fire it as treads. So each one of them will have a one-to-one -one attack. 
and on a five or six, it destroys and uh, treads equal to the combat strength of the unit firing. So each of those would destroy four, four treads if they hit. So the first one will go and he misses. Second one hits, so he does four points of damage to the treads. Third one will go, and nothing. All right, so all they got left is the GV can move. Ah, uh, he's in a bad space there, though. He might be better off. Well, he'll just move this way for the time being. All right, the ogre goes now. He needs to move. So one, two, and three three and he moves on to an infantry space and when he moves on an infantry space if he has any anti-personal weapons which he does the infantry automatically loses one combat strength so he's a two so he's going to become a one all right so he's going to fire is secondary battery first which has a range of two so he's gonna go do two of them at that infantry there that's a two to one and he gets a three which is a D so he'll hit that infantry will be reduced from a three to a two and he's gonna fire at that one there two to one and gets a four, that's another D, so this one's reduced to a two. All right, and this infantry here, he's gonna fire his eight anti-personnel at him. So that's a total of strength eight, because they're one each. So eight first three, so that will be a two, two to one. Two to one at one is no effect. All right, so these guys will go now. One, two, three. One, two, three. They need to get next to him in order to be in range to fire. He'll move to there. And the GV can never get himself into a position where he can do anything, it seems. <laughs> All right, so we got two heavy tanks here. Actually, everything's just gonna fire at his treads. So we'll start with this heavy tank here and a five or six he hits, misses. Uh, he's kinda out of his arc. All right, so that one there, miss, come on. And then we got three infantry. First infantry here, we're going from right to left. Miss, miss. Well, maybe I need new dice. Uh, six, that hits. So that one was a two, so the ogre loses two treads. Yeah, this isn't looking good. I think the ogre might win. We'll see. Oh, and there's a guy underneath him who will go. The guy underneath him is rolls, and he hits, and what was he? A, he's a one, so he does one damage to the ogre's treads. All right, now the ogre's up. So he's gonna move, so he stops there and attacks that one. Or actually, he doesn't have to roll the infantry automatically. L loses one strength point, and then he moves to here. So let me get a one strength point one out to replace him. All right, and he has four secondary batteries that he can fire. So, uh, So he's going to fire two at this guy, so that'll be a two to one, and the other two at the other guy, so that'll be six to one. The six to one automatically kills this one. Anything five to one or higher, you automatically destroy the unit. So that one there is, uh, rolls at a two to one. Two to one at three, so that's a D, so th this infantry becomes a two. If he would have got an X result, that would have just killed the entire infantry unit there. 
All right, so let's see what the humans can do here. One, two. This is actually a robotic tank, so that's why I'm referring to the other guys as humans. One, two. We'll go there. Oh, wait, no, no, he could go three. I forgot the GV moves three. One, two, three. And these are going to move. One, two. One, two. And one, two. All right, so they got to go after his treads. So the, this infantry will go first. Miss. GV, miss, heavy tank, miss, miss, and one infantry left. Jesus, everything missed. <laughs> Alright, so the GV can take a second move and he's not going to. So the ogre is up now. And he's going to go through this infantry here, so it's one, two, three, and this infantry becomes a one from getting run over. Let's see if I got a one strength infantry here I can put out. I think he was there. All right, so the only thing he's got in range is the secondary batteries, which can fire at this infantry. So that's 12 to 1, so this is automatically destroyed. All right. All right, so over here, we got three shooting at him. So heavy tank will go. Nothing. Next one, nothing. Next one, nothing. This is ridiculous. All right, so the ogre is up. Or wait, we got one more shot. This howitzer is in range. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he will fire. And that hits, so that takes out six treads. So now he's got a speed of only two instead of three. Is this uh, one in range, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Yes, it is. Let's see if that hits. Yeah, I got a five. All right, so it does six more damage to its treads. At least we're doing something here. If he does four more damage to the treads, his movement drops to one. All right, so this guy's got to move out now. So he's got a movement of just two. So he goes to there, and there's nothing within range of his weapons, so the humans are up again. All right, so first the howitzer is gonna go. Gets a one, which does nothing. Second one goes, gets a six, so it takes out six treads. So now he's down to a speed of one, so that's good. So both howitzers have gone. So now these three units here will start from left to right. Infantry, miss. Heavy tank, miss, of course. And then infantry. Wow, only my howitzers can hit. All right, this guy goes now, and he has a movement of one, so he goes to there. And his secondary batteries are in range. So he's going to do two of them for attack strength of six on that guy, so that's a three to one. And he rolls a six. Yeah, he can roll sixes. So that's an X, so this entire infantry unit is destroyed. And then he's got six versus three, so that one's a two to one. And two to one at four is an X. So actually that one's destroyed. 
know what, I forgot to move my GV uh, again. Last turn, let's just move them there. All right, so let's start the turn. Two, three. We'll go to there. Actually, he'll move to that space. All right, so the howitzers will go. Miss. Second one, miss. And GV, miss. Heavy tank, miss. Jesus. And a six from the infantry, so the infantry take out three of his treads. So he's got seven, eleven, fifteen. He's got seventeen treads left. All right, he can only move one. So he's going to move to there, and then he's going to fire his four secondary batteries at this howitzer here. So that's an automatic kill, or wait, is it? Hold on, that's four, so that's 12, and he has a defense of one, so yeah, that's an automatic kill. And that's his turn. There's no zones of control in this, just so you know. All right, so howitzer will go. Miss, and we got four units he can fire now. GV, miss. Heavy tank, miss. Heavy tank, that one hits, so that does four damage to those treads. So he's got 7, 11, he's got 13 treads left. And now for the infantry to go. Infantry misses. I think he was there. So this is going to move into that infantry space. And that will immediately become a, a 2 infantry after being run over. And that's all the movement he can do. So he's going to fire his anti-personnel at that infantry, so that will be 8 to 2, so 4 to 1, and he kills the infantry. He's got his secondaries. He's going to do all, uh, all four of them, which is 12, against that heavy tank, so that's a 3 to 1. 3 to 1 at 5, uh, he destroys the heavy tank. All right, now the humans are up. They got to do something quick here. Infantry can go over the ridges. All right, so the howitzer is going to fire. Miss. GV. Miss. Heavy tank. Miss. Uh, this heavy tank hits, so he takes out four treads. And an infantry. Infantry hits, so it takes out three more treads. So he's got six treads left. So he's going to move to this space, which will make this infantry become a two. And then he's going to fire at the command post with all four of his secondary batteries. Just check the rule book to verify. Any attack on the, this command post, since it has a strength of zero, automatically hits. So the command post is destroyed. So that's one of the two things the ogre needed to do. And so he's going to fire his secondary, uh, or excuse me, his anti-personnel on the guy underneath him. So that's eight to two. So that's a four to one, and he destroys the guy underneath him. All right, they're gonna try and prevent him from leaving the map if they can. Here, hold on. This one will go first to there, and that one will go there, there. All right. 
So howitzer will go. Miss, of course. Heavy tank hits, so he takes out four treads. So the ogre's only got two treads left. All right, this heavy tank, he hits and does four, so he's immobilized the ogre. So that, that's the end of the game there. So since the CP command post was destroyed and the ogre was also destroyed, it's considered a marginal ogre victory. Thanks for watching and have a good evening.